Hey everybody, I pray that you're doing well. Today as we come to our word from the word. And today that word is matter. Matter. Now we could go back to science class and talk about what matter is. Or we could talk about the things that matter. The things that are important to us. And even here today, as we're still in Job chapter 19 today, and, and one of the m most famous lines as well. Uh, I know we've already talked about one. This is another one that really, if you really, we don't have time to dive into it like it really ought to be today in a short time. But I encourage you to really study and read along with us to read this statement that Job makes. Now, to think about it, I want to set the stage and then I just want to jump right in. To think as he's given his response to his accusers, essentially, uh, these friends that are trying to be comforters to him. He says, uh, you have to be looking ahead as well. You have to know what's coming. And, and he's almost giving them a warning as well, talking about his own future. But he says, look, if, if you already know what my future holds, then y'all better watch out to see what your future holds. But I love the point. This even ties in with our Sunday morning uh, series here lately about being in the waiting room from uh, First Thessalonians. And as he's always looking for the day of the Lord and looking for the rapture and, and, and talking about the things about our bodies when this life is over and what we experience in the next life. And, and so with that, it's amazing to realize how little has been revealed in the Old Testament to this point about the future. Now, let's remember, too, I know you may be, uh, as we've been reading along, uh, this is actually believed to be Job. The book of Job is actually believed to be one of the first um, books to be actually written down. Now, to think about that, obviously not the first thing that happened, but the first book to be written down. And I believe it was because of all that Job went through, because so many people wanted to be able to. Uh, or maybe that God, let me rephrase that, that God wanted people to be able to, to look to it to understand exactly what life could be handing us. Now, with that, let's just jump right in because I, I, I'm trying to kind of skirt around what he's going to say. So let's just jump into what he's saying. Job chapter 19, verses 23 through 29. He says, Oh, that my words were written. Oh, that they were inscribed in a book, that they were engraved on a rock with an iron pen and lead forever. I, I just side note there, isn't it funny that we're still reading it today? Oh, I wonder what Job would think about those words now. But then he says this beautiful, beautiful line in verse 20, uh, 25. For I know that my Redeemer lives and he shall stand at last on the earth. And after my skin is destroyed, this I know that in my flesh I shall see God whom I shall see for myself and my eyes shall behold and not another. How my heart yearns within me. If you should say, how shall we persecute him? Since the root of the matter is found in me. Be afraid, be afraid of the sword for yourselves for wrath brings puni the punishment of the sword that you may know there is a judgment. For I know that my redeemer lives. Many, many years, many, many generations before Jesus Christ would step on the stage. Many, many years before. But to have the picture of knowing that there was going to be someone standing in the gap. And the fact that earlier as he's, he kind of uses and through the book of Job, you know, it's kind of like wanting to take God to court. That he wanted somebody to be able to stand up and, and, and fight for him. And the beautiful thing is, is that even though, as he says, though he slay me, yet I will trust in him. Now he's saying, look, I even know that even if he does kill me, even if he does kill me, then I know I'm still going to see God face to face. He says, yes, my flesh, this matter, right? Let's, let's use that word again that way. He's getting to the heart of what really matters. But he says, this matter, this skin and bones is not going to matter anymore. I'm going to see him face to face. And I know he lives and I know there's someone that is going to stand in the gap for me. And, and we could really just dive into that. But I just want to encourage you with those words today. That when you're in that deep, dark valley like Job was, no matter what comes, no matter who's against you, no matter uh, who talks about you, no matter who puts you down, no matter who wants to throw you under the bus, who, no matter who overlooks you, doesn't pay enough attention to you, know that you know that you know that your Redeemer 
lives. Jesus Christ is alive and well. And he can be alive and well in your life today. If you'll just simply invite him in. If you'll simply believe and confess him as Lord of your life. Today, you can be the one that's saying, look, I, I don't care about all this other stuff. I mean, it, it's not that we don't, that we just completely quit caring and give up. But, you know, it's saying, okay, I'm not going to worry about these things. My, my concern, I may be concerned about circumstances that are going on around me, but I'm, it's not going to be to the point where I, I lose sleep over those because I know that my Redeemer lives. And I know that he sees all things. And I know that he's going to stand in the gap, just as Jesus Christ did, stood in the gap with his arms wide, spread a wide across that cross where he died for you and for me. He was killed. He laid down his life, died and was buried and rose again on the third day, ascended into heaven and now stands as our advocate there with God the Father. That every time you and I uh, have done wrong, that we can plead the blood of Jesus over our lives if we've trusted him as Lord and Savior. And with everything else that's going on in this world, no matter what's going on in your life, that's a fresh perspective that maybe we need reminding of today to get to the heart of the matter. God bless you, and I pray you have a great, great day.